Good morning, brothers and sisters, and uh, another day to serve the Lord. This is uh, a great privilege for all of us, and uh, I've got some words for us, encouraging words, to help us think about the Lord today. I know uh, that's what we all have to do each and every day, is take time to think about the Lord, spend some time with Him. Instead of worrying about all the things we have to do, and I'm probably the most guilty of that right now. But anyway, here's uh, our encouraging words today, brothers. Today the words say this. Walk with me in the freedom of forgiveness. The path we follow together is sometimes steep and slippery. If you carry a burden of guilt on your back, you are more likely to stumble and fall. At your request, I will remove the heavy load from you and bury it at the foot of the cross. When I, unbury, when I unburden you, you are undeniably free. Stand up straight and tall in my presence so that no one can place more burdens on your back. Look into my face and feel the warmth of my love light shining upon you. It is this unconditional love that frees you from both fears and sins. Spend time basking in the light of my presence as you come to know me more and more intimately. You grow increasingly free. And Bible support comes from Psalm 68, verse 19. 1 John 1, verses 7 and 9, 7 through 9. And 1 John 4, verse 18. Praise God. Huh? Just a little time each day. I put these out. I don't know what all different things different people do. Some do nothing. They spend all their time worrying about all the problems they have and uh, all the things they got to do. Which problems are there and all the things they got to do are there. But the difference being you can either do, choose to do them with the Lord and accept his support and help while those things are going on. Or you can ignore the Lord and try to handle all the all that on your own. And I think too many choose to try to handle it on their own. You know, even I do that sometimes. I forget that when circumstances change and, and these things need to be done, that first first foremost thing we have to do is turn to the Lord and say, Lord, can you help me with this? Or, Lord, your will be done on this. Or, whatever you say. I don't think the Lord is fancy. I know he's the creator of the universe. And, but I think he's right down to earth. Pretty simple. He doesn't require a lot of fancy fanfare and ceremonial things going on. Now, he didn't do that when he was here. It kept things pretty simple. Following Jesus is, <laughs> I guess you could say, probably one of the most complex things to do, and yet one of the most simple things to do. And I know that pretty much encompasses everything, but he is everything, so you can get it, get everything done with him. And you can get it done in peace and love and joy because that's when you're doing it with him that's how you're doing it all right brothers and sisters anthony you have a great day mark i gotta call you today and uh get the tablet to you or give the tablet to somebody here so you can uh, videotape the bible study tonight because i can't be there and uh okay everybody have a great day and uh even if it's the worst day of your life, 
It's still a great day because you spent it with Jesus. Have a good day. Love all of you. Bye-bye.